Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly model some um, hip roof truss um, and also it's for uh, indicative purpose only. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. Okay, so let's go to 3D view. So WA, some wall, and four, four walls. And I'll change the height to three meter and place the roof on the top. Maybe some overhang and OK. And also, I'm going to change it to a thinner roof as well. So um, maybe I'll change the level to three meter so to match the wall height. OK, so now let's place some. Uh, um, Trust. So first, um, we need to. Um, I'm going to show you some um, trust in the library. Okay, so if you go structure trust, and under the um, structural trusses, and here you can load some trust family. So um, in this case, I think uh, probably I'll use this one, and then so you can so it's easy it's easier to place it on side plan. So let's go to side plan, uh, make a wireframe WF. So and also I'm going to change it the core to medium, maybe yeah okay. So go trust. So then I'm going to place it on the center line of the wall. So for example, I place one here. And it looks like oh sorry I I forgot to change the 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 type the beam type so go structure beam load family so go back go to structure framing and under this you know just wood and just pick one um not sure which one I'll just pick 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 one uh size okay so and then select this truss and edit type. Go uh, change the type for all the all the different uh, members of this trust. And okay, so now we have this trust timber trust. So the next thing is we need to move uh, lift it up on the top of the wall. Change it to depending on the, how high the wall is. Just typing the, the height for each point one two two point. So now let's have a look uh, turn on the roof so it's currently poking out of the roof so if I if I select this truss and attach top click on the roof so I'll change it to WF wireframe so you will see this truss will match the roof okay so it's quite good now if I move this to here if I move the truss to here so because if, if you look at this um, image, you will see uh, maybe this one. So you can see here the truss, the top of the truss is flat. Uh, yeah, here. So see, the top of the truss is flat to match the uh, roof. So what, what? let's try this one. So tap, attach top, click on the roof. So you will see. Uh, just hang on, it's just one sec. Sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah, my, my daughter is crying. Bit her tongue. Okay, so um, now, where am I? So this one. See? Uh, when I attach to the roof, so you, will, you can see, it's actually not it's only touch the point, touch on the this point. It's not matching the slope here. So, what we need to do now is we're going to create a new um, truss. Okay, so new family um, structural truss open. Okay, so first let's play some one top core and one bottom bottom core 
and then we're going to need some reference plans and dimension a call and dimension a call and go create web from this point go here and from this point to here so once again here and then here so this is it now now let's load this into the project and go to 3d views select this family so first start, let's select this one and change it to the new one we, we just did and you will notice that it's it's very close right and then this one let's change it to the new one and you will see it create this uh, horizontal beam to match the roof see okay so um yeah this is exactly what we need and then for for these ones you can just copy or uh, um, array or create all the, them so see this one you will need to attach again yeah and and for this one maybe 900 900 Oh, sorry, this one's CC 900. And then we can attach to the top. Okay, so now th those, let's have a look of the, the one on the side. So first I'm going to copy this another 900, for example, and then attach it to the top. And then of, of course this one will start from here and stop so if we have a look of the image so something like this one so see start from here and stop at this rich arm so to um let's just actually drag this back if we drag this back to this uh, rich line and then also we need to change the height to three meter and actually it's it's quite um I think we can do it uh, a similar one. So let's just edit this family. So for the new one, I'm going to delete some of the reference line, reference plans and also the dimension. And then I'm going to create a dimension it again equal and then delete some of the web and also this one. And uh, I'm going to start it um, uh, from this corner okay so to here and here to here and also I'm going to create a, a vertical web so now I'm let me save this as a different name uh, maybe I'll add today's date and save and then load this back into the project let's go to 3d view select this one so let me change this to a new one um, yeah, it's quite small here, so maybe I'll um, set. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, and also looks like it's on the other uh, the wrong wrong side. So I need to switch it. Hmm. How can I switch it? Maybe I'll uh, let's go to side plan. Maybe I'll just mirror it and move it. Down. So let's go to 3D again. So attach. Yeah. So that's better. Yeah. So the same. If I go to side plan again, select this truss mirror, pick this ridge line, and then we create. We will have this. This one. And also, um, let's go back to. Oh, actually, I'm going to uh, WT. So because I don't want to switch uh, back and forth all the time. So we have this one, CC 900. Drag it back, and maybe change the height back to three meter, three meter. So we will see. It still match the roof. I think that's quite okay. And then. Maybe another 900 something and 
attach. Cool. So um, that's that's pretty much it. So it's uh, I think you can quite easily create a, a whole um, a roof structure for a hip roof using this method. Just just place it there and attach the roof. Okay, so if you have it, and, and all, I think uh, there might be some plug-in or add-ins which will help you to create these, and also um, some you know um, the trust manufacturer they will have some their uh, maybe different software to create this. But for us, I think for indicative purpose, I think it should be enough. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.